Okay, so here I am on another road trip. Today I'm up in Squamish. Gonna do some carving with my buddy, uh, professional chainsaw carver, Ryan Cook. Uh, I don't know what he has time to do today because he's super busy, but um, I'm hoping he'll be able to, we'll be able to blast off an owl, we'll, um, and this will be a beginning chainsaw carver's video. You guys know that I, I've already made lots of owls, but you know, like, I'm just going into this with an open mind and see what I can learn. So let's uh, get the ball going. Let's get it going. Once again, that I've showed you guys before, this is sure, uh, this is a, a beautiful place. It's for uh, rescued horses. See, there's a horse up there. Gotta drive super slow. Oh, there's a horse and a donkey. Is it a donkey or is it a mini horse? Hi guys! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay, so here I am at uh, Ryan Cook's shop. He's just uh, gone busy. He's gone away for a few minutes. He's had to do something, but I figure when he's gone, I'll sit here and uh, sharpen my chainsaw with my Dremel. Uh, he, you. You shouldn't sharpen your chainsaws with Dremel, guys. You see that bit here? So anyways, hopefully it doesn't come back when I'm sharpening it. Look at this freaking wizard. Oh, look at that. Anyways, this thing's massive. It's tall as tall as I am. Anyways, I gotta start sharpening my saw. Okay, so Ryan's decided he's gonna show me how he carves his owls just like this, which I really want to do. It's gonna be a huge improvement, just like when he taught me how he did his wood spirits. We all have our own ways. I'm just trying to learn new ways now and improve my uh, game. So he's got this big block of um, first growth old red cedar. We're gonna cut it in half, and then we're gonna set it up. What Ryan's doing right now on the um, jaw, jaw horses and start carving. Just like last time. Yeah. Okay, we got the blocks of the cedar on the uh, stands here, and Ryan wants to show this book here. This is a great one, Denny Rogers. You guys can get them on Amazon and different books. Uh, he makes awesome, awesome the sun reflections. Kind of a there you go. That's that, better. There we go. Yep. So Denny Rogers makes awesome, awesome books. I use them all the time for references. You can tell, like, you know, his his artwork is amazing. He's very true to form, and then he gets into the. Uh, the measurement charts you know like that's every single feather okay. how long it will be full scale uh, nine tenths seven tenths half scale okay so if you're carving that I mean it's insane you got underside wings backside wings so if you're looking to improve your realism this type of book is amazing especially for chainsaw carving okay let's go all right thank you me when I'm doing it I'll do like a, a head and then body and then end it there, claw, base, and then kind of kind of like that. So this is where he's putting in the wing? You know, you, you, you're thinking about the bones too, right? The bones of the owl, the, the, the shoulder bones will be like here, 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 and then as they open up, they explode. So you, you, you create uh. like kind of a, a spot here, and then your tail feathers, I always like to, connect this down to here and then the tummy connects to the tail feathers and then you separate this for your wing top of the tuft of the shoulder and then for me I always like to turn my eagles or sorry turn my owls some movement so yeah because you're gonna spend so much time like laying in feathers and and doing like feather patterns that if your owls looking forward when you go to take your picture 
it just kind of looks like an owl in the front. This part's very boring. The neck, then the body, and then the wing. And uh, and we'll just do like the, some legs here, and then a small, small bird, you know? We're just keeping it simple. We're gonna make it nice and easy. So right away when you start this, your first cut is to kind of cut down to here and then cut that out. And then I cut here, and then I start to go with the body until I hit the legs, and then I cut this out. So you're blocking your first two cuts is that. That's your block out. Straight through, straight cut to form, cut straight on, and you're good to go. And then your next cuts, we'll get into it after. Because all the hard work you're putting in, especially in beginners, a lot of people, you know, if you're just beginning carving, you're, a lot of times I'll see like a bird looking straight. Now a bird looking straight to me is kind of like, it's okay. It's not the greatest because the reason is if it's looking straight, this part of the feather pattern is not that exciting to look at. And the back wing, this part, how you lay your feathers in, that's the hardest part, and that's the most work, and that's the most detail. So if you crank the head back, which owls can do almost a three, like a, a 180 with their, with their necks, that you, you then make your piece looking backwards, but he's looking, and it looks rad. You're showing off your work, you're making the head look good. That's kind of what I'm going for when I'm thinking about this. So first cut, this part doesn't really matter as much right now. I'm just thinking, okay, the head's here, I'm gonna cut this out and start shaping in the wings. <laughs> Okay, so 
essentially like a nice little punch out. And uh, so I'll punch in the wing now. Because now you can like start to almost shape, right? Remember when you're carving, you're thinking about blocking. Blocking is number one. Don't start carving to form yet. Like uh, like you're, 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 you start carving and you're already thinking, oh, I gotta lay in the feathers. No, 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 get your form right. That's my personal opinion. I stand by it. Any other carvers who do it differently, awesome. That is, that, that is totally, 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 that is totally your call. Okay, everybody, so here comes the dreaded voiceover. So I'm going to be short and to the point. So when I first started chainsaw carving, there was a few people online I met on Facebook that would give me tips about chainsaws, this and, the, this and that. But those people ended up uh, lashing out at me online, calling me a hack, a butcher, a surface carver, a 2D carver. So it made me... I'm not insecure in real life. I'm a pretty solid person, pretty stand-up person, but it made me insecure when it came to art. So... Maybe a year later, this I realized this carver, his name was Stephen Kenzora. You guys hear me talk about him. He, I'm in British Columbia. He's in Ontario. He started talking to me. He told me he, he might have been one of the Geordie haters. And I said, the past is the past. So he gave me motivation. He told me to carve deeper. He told me to keep at it and just keep at it and just keep doing what I'm doing. It's a good thing. I'm helping people. And he's the reason that I reached out to Ryan. So thank you, Steve Kenzora. He's the reason I reached out to Ryan. I, I didn't think any chance Ryan would take the time of day to uh, show me chainsaw carving. Now look, we talk almost daily. He's becoming a good friend of mine because we get along. We're like-minded people. Ryan, thank you. Ryan's job is carving. That's how he makes his living. He's got a beautiful wife. He's got a beautiful daughter. He's got a mortgage. He's got bills to pay. He's got insurance bills. He has to pay for the shop. He took time out of his day to teach me how to do an owl. So those haters that lashed out on me on Facebook, look at look at me now. I'm still not a pro. I'll always be a hack. Even if I am a pro, I'll call myself a hack. I think it's a great name. Jordy the Hack Johnson. Why not? Anyways, thank you, Steve Kanzora. Thank you, Ryan, for taking time out of your day. Thank you for introducing me to Kevin today. He showed me a lot of great tips. I'll be carving with him on Vancouver Island this year. And thank you, for Ryan, for introducing me to um, Douglas Fur, Mr. Senior Douglas Fur. Three pro carvers I was with today, guys. I learned a lot. And basically, I'm not kissing your ass, Steve, but it's thanks to you. All right. So can I be done this voiceover now? I think I'm done. One more thing, everybody. Ryan Cook did a full live carving of these owls today. If you want to learn how to carve an owl from a pro, head over to his video. I'll leave it in the description below and watch the video. And please, please subscribe to his channel. You're helping me out. You're helping Ryan out. And it's free to do. You're doing great. Doing great, buddy. So we'll, we'll start to punch in this face. Now, one thing I, I always look for to is uh, when I'm doing these carvings, guys and girls, is I always look to try to keep this part balanced. So Jordy's got a little bit here. We're gonna get it balanced, and but we haven't even begun to push this back. This is the furthest point out. So we then take it and we're gonna scoop it out. I'll do it with this side. You scoop it out and you give it a nice little like fluffy tuft to it. It looks rad very effective and, and really will help like step up your owls to the next Do I level. Do you separate my body from my back uh, wing? No, tail, no, tail? you know, when, when feathers are sitting on top of each other, they're very like, it's just like our, like us, like this, you know? You see a lot of guys like, like Uncle Kevin, he does what we call, my wife calls spook owls. And they're like super dramatic, like it's a, uh, this is in like an inch and a half, like there's no, Thing. We're just trying to lay feathers on top of each other. That's kind of like what I'm going yeah, I'm for here. Cut here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna do that right now. Oh, you cut yours here. This, cut here. this is just like putting in. No, but this cut right here. You've already cut yours. Like this 45 right here. You're there. We're on the same page. No, we're not. 
You can also do it with chainsaw or you don't have to do it at all. You can just do, if you're, if you're just learning, what's easy, what's, it's simple, it's just to do for, like, like feather fur, tufty fur all the way down and then just pop out two or three talons. Two is sometimes how owls actually uh, stand. So you can get away with two. I've done tons of owls like that, primarily because I'm lazy, but that's also like you know, that, that is a good quick way. But three is how they do it, and then they have their one at the back. But if you're not gonna be punching negative space in, we'll just keep it simple. We'll make him a solid standing owl. a great way for beginners to just watch learn if you if you watch this uh, watch it again if you remember something come back to it I'm always here leave a comment or a question if you have any questions and um, and definitely like click the next video because I've got tons of other videos where you guys can watch Jordy carving fusion he's got lots so check out Jordy and uh, Uncle Kevin will have his page in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. And Douglas Spur is gonna have a Block Brothers page in the next couple of years. Uh, <laughs> Carving, Fusion on. Carving Fusion will be supporting those channels. <laughs> so yeah, my name's Ryan Cook. You, thanks for watching. Right and uh, this was a hopefully a, a helpful beginner's owl for you. Yeah, Jordy oh yeah. Besides mine, everybody else. Besides mine looks like an alien. It looks good, so we'll get his finished. And uh, here we go, here's a quicker look at it. Boom. 
Okay guys, so this video is going to be so sporadic because Ryan was doing his live, uh, some of you guys will see me on his live video, this owl, which is wicked. That's such an awesome tip with the wood burner. So you look how nice and full his face looks and look at mine. I couldn't keep up with them, so. Anyways, um, I'm going to try and make it better. <laughs> uh, but uh, Ryan's best friend, uh, Kevin is here. Kevin. Hey Kev. My hair? Kevin's uh yeah how's the hair? The hair is good. Kevin's a professional <laughs> carver. He Hello. lives on uh, Vancouver Island. Courtney. Vancouver Co Island yep. I lived in Courtney for five years when I was a kid. Oh cool yeah, yeah yeah. Did you know that little white church on the hill? Yeah. Okay you know where there's a trail anyways I'll talk we'll talk about yeah, that Yeah I later. do know that on the Mission Hill. Yeah so there's a trailer park there and there, you know there's like a garden store on the main road. Yeah yeah. I lived in a house just behind that garden store. Oh, cool. Yeah, so. Neat. Anyway, so you. Right by Peeline Tools. That's the local saw shop right there. Right oh, the okay. Yeah. So you're yeah. planning on. How long have you been carving for? Oh, 26 years this year. Wicked. Yeah. Yeah. It's Ryan's best best friend. Um, you're you're planning on starting a YouTube channel? Yeah, I sure am. Yeah, well, we just got to get you to figure out all the editing and stuff like that. And a name. We're gonna start it this Kevin's week. Carvings. Uncle Kevin's Carvings. Uncle Kevin's Carvings. Uncle yeah. Kevin's Carvings. Yeah. 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 And uh, Kevin's Carvings. Why not? He's gonna be a part of the team, and I'm gonna carve we'll a fusion. Get his page up this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. He's staying at my house, so we'll get his page up and a video up on uh, for Sunday. How to run the computer. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get one up for Sunday. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so hopefully this summer I might be able to go over to Vancouver Island because I do go over there. I got lots of friends in Lake Cowichan. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, Go over there and just do some carvings at your place. Come up to the gallery on Plateau Road there and do some carving with me. Awesome. Wicked. Yep. Okay, so hopefully we'll see a video from you Monday, baby. Really quick, yeah. Right on. Bar we just did. Big right on. Bar. Oh Way yeah. Forward, did you yeah. film that? Yeah, all of it. Cool. Thanks, Kev. You bet. Thanks, George. Okay, so this is Mr. Douglas Fur, aka Lingo Bach, yes. and uh, he's another professional chainsaw carver. Doug, how long have you been carving for? 29 years. And what we spoke about earlier, what did you start carving and what type of material did you start carving on? My first carving was a wood spirit, uh, cottonwood bark from, uh, I was taught by a fella named George Tosh, uh, one of the most famous bark carvers in the world. Really? I had one, one sitting with him and I was supplying him bark because I was a tree climber and he wanted some cottonwood bark and so I brought it to him and then he said you want to sit down and whittle a wood spirit and I said yeah why not you know so we sat on his deck and carved a wood spirit and I kind of that's what kind of fueled my career as a carver because I carved with a knife for probably 15 years before I picked up a power saw. Oh you're a whittler? As a sculptor you know I, I'm 15 years by hand I was a hand carver yeah that's how it all started. So for like how many years were you car carving the cottonwood bark and the wood spirits? Like, did you make a living off of that? I did, yeah, I supported myself. I had always had a job, but uh, there was points in my life where I'd lost my job and my wood spirits actually uh, paid my bills. Yeah. yeah, so like that's how I make my money is wood spirits. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's a great medium. Uh, the, wood, the cottonwood is a nice soft bark to work with and keep your knives sharp and uh, always study uh, human like faces, right? Uh, what uh, are you working on here, there, Mr. Fur? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Fur, yeah. Mr. Fur! Hey, Ryan, we call him Mr. Fur, eh? Yeah, yeah he's Douglas Fur. Okay, Mr. <laughs> Douglas Fur. <laughs> like the trees around here. <laughs> so we got a couple of owls. A couple here. owls for my auntie, yeah. And then uh, I put, I threw in a Viking on the back. I still got to finish them up. It's just the uh, first pass. It's you wood. I thought I was carving cedar until you told me it was you. And I, you know, <laughs> Jordy I, the Hack tells a pro he's carving you yeah, wood, eh, Doug? I had no idea. I was. It was so hard when I was doing my quick carve, and I'm wondering why it's bouncing. I'm thinking, well, it's ancient, ancient cedar. No, no, it's you wood. It's a hundred. So we, we found this on on a, on a side of a lake. Actually, it was washed up on shore. So I'm repurposing it and turning it into a gift for my auntie. I love carving driftwood. Yeah, me too. Love it. Okay, Doug, so love thanks. So I'm gonna I gotta finish this alien yeah, owl. Man. Yeah man. You, you think we can make it not look like an alien? Damn right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It looks okay. fucking wicked. Yeah, yeah, your block out's perfect, dude. You just gotta go after it. Now. But you think the head's a little bit too thin? 
Uh, no, you know, all you gotta do is push back in here a bit more. Push it back. And then, and then, and then watch because you're going deep here. Yeah. And, and mimic this. Obviously, this has to be mimicked here now. And then put your eyes in. Once your beak's in, and away you go, man. I love it. I love the pose, man. Are you lying? No, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> Honest to God, dude. You're doing a great job, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. Okay, so we'll we'll talk to everybody a bit. Thanks, thanks, Mr. Fur. You're welcome. Kev's just giving me some lessons on uh, eyes and stuff like that, so he's just showing me. Digging in the corners here. Always sort of look to see where you're at. Visually, and knock it up. And you do your little eyelid. This is more, Kev's style is more fantasy, right Kev? Yeah. That's straight up my uh, alley, man. Yeah. Then, then you just want to play with it. I matched up the eyes pretty good for you. So now you would get in here and play with this a bit, like your Dremel. Like, like you showed me or this. this side right here. Yeah, then you know you can separate it. Then you can go over that again with your fine bit on your Dremel yeah. and just bring out those lines okay. and pop these eyes. I guess I'll do this here. Right now. Yeah, exactly. It gives you an idea. Yeah. And sometimes you got to go over it again because once you put that in, you know, once that gets all smoothed out, then I do, I sometimes I do like a oh, human this, eye. <laughs> yeah, this is like a fantasy. Look at it, it's yeah. like this, right? Yeah. Was that your purpose, to make it kind of like Yeah, this? get that flow, and then you, you can trim this up for sure here, you know. Take it back more? Yeah. Uh, yeah no. Nice deep water. Fingers. I like giving them the, the horned owl look almost, but Then your beak. Well, good thing we're not running off the generator right now. And then you get under here and you can do, um, they usually got the lines here. You know? But you can do, take this and just push Push, push, do that, and then you can still, Give it another <laughs> yeah, go underneath those feathers. And then you can always do, I like doing a bit more too, right? So. Just give me so much more character. Right? Yeah. I'm not going to be able to match up the other side there, but it doesn't matter. You get to just play with it, and then it make it make it your own. You know, look at that. You know. This part right here. Yeah, then you just get that out of there for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll have to keep this piece forever. That's really cool, like to see three different styles, like my body style. And Absolutely. Uh, like these are your... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I tried to cool. copy you the best I could. I, knew, I, was trying to, I was trying to keep up, but I was kind of getting I know, off, I know, you know, I know. At that certain point, it was like, all right, I just got to get it done. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, I knew that too. Yeah. And I know, I knew it again.
blow it up. Yeah, oh, so you got the, he's using here. the Dremel bit right now. Yeah, you just hit these corners. Look at that. And then you can, um, then you can start playing here again. Bring that feathering out. Get in and get some nice deep power lines, as Ryan would say, for the power. Then you can do the same under here. I just get in underneath them. Get a nice burn, a nice burn undercut in there, Jacob. Yeah, yeah, nice little undercut gives you some nice shading. That's awesome. And then it's like every time you go over it, you can just create more and more detail matter how long you want to spend on it and how cool you want it to look. You, you want it to look your, like your own piece, so. It's just nice I have a studio because I've never done this before, so. I don't show too many people. Thanks, Doug. <laughs> You're welcome. But it's fun, you know. Like, and then you get, get in under here and bring that line down. Um, you can still push that beak back a little bit. You know, just play with it. Then, same idea, when you jump to this side, you just sort of follow those lines that I've done, you know? Just like that. Look at that. it. Yeah. So now you can bring, you can see this. Oh yeah, he's angry. He's an angry bird. Spook owl. Oh, he does. Look at that, man. That's awesome. Okay, so now he left me to finish the other side here. So, anyways, I gotta match it up with his size. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. okay, so that's a wrap for this owl. This is the best owl I've ever done because Ryan helped me with the block out. Kevin there, Lewis, helped me with the mystic uh, face. Man, that's wicked, and it doesn't look like such an alien now. <laughs> My lines are kind of screwed up on the wings, but that's okay. That's all right. Man, thank you, Kevin. That's Anytime. that's that's my. That looks like an eagle owl. It's an eagle owl. You know what it's I mean? A spook owl. What are those eagles called? I think they're yeah, owl eagles or something. Get spook owl. Okay, I gotta get oh, out of here. Thanks, Ryan. Sure. I appreciate it. Thank you. Until next time, Saw Valley. Until next time, it's time to go home. What a great time. So we're just leaving here. You gotta drive really slow here for the horses. But I wanna show you guys this. That was, I went home yesterday from my brother's house and this was in the mail. Sending smiles. Sending you smiles, Jordy. Stay safe, stay healthy. Carve deeper. Sign your peace. Like I am, your brother. Cleve, Claire, D, Claire D, from Kamloops. Thanks, man. Gave me a big smile when I got this in the mail. I just noticed something when I was driving. I figured we'd fin finish this uh, video off with a bang. Look how green it is in here. Holy, there it is. The Spirit of Squamish by Ryan Cook. That thing is a lot bigger when you're looking at it in person. Thanks for all the help, Ryan. Man, this thing is friggin' cool. Look how he did his eyes. Look how he carved way up there, man. Like, I'm six foot, oh, five foot ten. So that's five foot ten to right there.
Wicked man, that is frigging cool. What a tribute to, to the town of Squamish.